Hello and welcome to Austin Night Attack Live 2018. You guys ready for some anal? That went better than we thought. That went better than we thought. Uh, in case you don't know, um, I'm Amos. And I'm Kent. We are the Ritual Misery Podcast. We are part of the Diamond Club community. Wait, wait, wait. I don't see any diamonds. Let's see some diamonds. Throw them up. Come on. Diamond Club makes some noise. All right. Now, as we said, we're part of the Diamond Club community, as are you, and this is an amazing community. Yeah, we, we do a lot of things together. We put on events like this. We raise money together. We do, we do. Uh, over the last three years, we've raised almost $5,000 for awesome charities during our New Year's Eve streamathons. <laughs> Typically, it's 27 hours of straight streaming so that no one has to spend New Year's Eve alone in raising money for different causes, typically the Children's Miracle Network. Yeah, and since that has been such a success, we want to take it to the next level and do an event, like a streamathon style event, all year long so that we can double what we make, easily double what we make during the, the New Year's Eve show. And if you want to get in, in on that, bit.ly slash DCTV donate, right? Yes, bit.ly slash DCTV donate if you want to yeah. be a part of this awesome thing. If you would like to help kids, because that's what we do. We like to donate money to help kids. And it's awesome, and it's something we can all do together. It's one of the many projects we have lined up as a community coming to you soon. Speaking of helping kids. Ah, yeah. Um, Bryce. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, you got a second? We, uh, we, we decided to, to take up a collection and uh, help one of our own that's in need. So Bryce, this is a collection of nickels from Diamond Club. There's one caveat though. Uh, Jury donated a dollar coin. He wants his 95 cents back, so. <laughs> Uh, again, bit.ly slash DCTV donate if you want to stream, if you want to advertise it out there, if you just like to throw a couple dollars our way, it's all going to help kids. And now, Jomo and the Possum Posse. Check, check, check. Um, who's ready to podcast and have Brian and Justin get up here and yeah. talk about things? I mean, I'm ready. Ways. I'm ready. Right, it's hot as shit. I, it is hot. I would like to get them up here and us off the stage. Yeah. We'll play one more and then we can get them up here if they're prepared. Well, now, on a day that we met on the internet, I asked her for a little photograph. Yeah, she sent it on over to me. She said, I know it's ugly. And I said, girl, ugly ain't the half. Hey, look at you. Well, you got blue teeth and you only got two teeth, but I kind of like to see you smile. And it appears that over the years, you've turned into a big old steaming pie. And she said, yeah, I know I ain't no supermodel. I said, you ain't a hand model, baby. Oh, but that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Because you're pretty damn ugly by most people's standards. Girl, ain't but you all right by mine. Y'all take it. Well, it was on our first date. I showed up right about eight, and she came to the front door. I said, I'm going to wait right here while you go put on a little makeup. She said, do I need to put on more? And I was like, probably yeah, should, yeah. yeah. Because you got that one crazy eye, and that one hazed over lazy eye. But I kind of dig that ugly grin. Or maybe it's your dermatitis, girl. Or maybe it's your gingivitis. Either way, none of my friends ever ask about your twin. That's an ugly and shit. And she said, yeah. 
I know I ain't no supermodel. I said, it's funny when you compare yourself to a supermodel. Yeah, but, but that's, that's fine, because you're pretty damn ugly by most people's standards. Yeah, but you're all right by mine, uh -huh. And maybe I never told her that she looked pretty. Yeah, but you can never say I lied. And maybe she's ridiculously hideous to look at, y'all. Ooh, but that's just on the outside. Come on now. Yeah, she got blue teeth. She only got two teeth. Well, I kind of dig that ugly grin. Even though she looks like she fell off a dirt bike and landed right on her chin. Like eight or nine, eight or nine times. times, yeah. She said, I know I ain't no supermodel. I said, I ain't gonna argue with that, baby, but that's fine. Yeah, that's you're pretty damn ugly by most folks' standards, girl. Hey, but you're all right by mine. And she said, yeah, I know I ain't no supermodel. I said, what a ridiculous understatement, but that's fine. By most folks' standards, girl. Hey, but you're all right by. You're all right by. Baby, you're all right by. You all For Jan. Yeah. You guys up? Yeah. I don't really know these guys. I met them on the street just before this, and they said, are you a band? Are you a band? We need a band. We were like, technically, yeah. Technically. Well, and they're technically comedians. So. That's right. Technically comedians. <laughs> Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Day attack. Attack in the day. Oh, MGWTF, LOL, BBQ! Live in Austin, Texas! It is go time to set fire to this motherfucking internet. Hello, you beautiful people. I'm Brian Brushwood. This is my BFF from here. Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jesus, this is sensitive. <laughs> how you doing? Uh, hey, Justin, how you doing? Brian, I'm just here in Austin, Texas, jingling my sack. I feel like, okay, can you, uh, let's start with your sack, all right? Uh, let's start with my sack. Not everybody loves your sack. <sighs> Controversial topic in 2018, <laughs> my sack. By the way, number of people who love your sack, over or under 50%. Oh, I'm gonna go over. If you like my sack, make some noise. <laughs> you motherfucker, cheap pop. You cheap pop <laughs> motherfucker. Uh, uh, if you like Brian's sack, Brian, what do you think about your sack over or under? I, 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 think, I think it's a cheap pop either way, you motherfucker. Uh, uh, over or under? Who loves my sack? <laughs> Less, that's fewer people. I owe you $2 now. This is fucked up. There all we right. go. All right. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, we had delightful sacks made for us, and I spent uh, half a grand on $1 coins so that we could annoy bartenders across South by Southwest. Uh, life lesson for everybody here. Do not assume universally that all bartenders enjoy getting paid in $1 gold coins. <laughs> Uh, uh, by the way, if there's one more true thing I could say, yeah. assume zero homeless people appreciate yes. being handed a one dollar gold coin. While it might be a dollar, they don't think it is initially, <laughs> and now you have to get into the conversation of convincing them that a dollar coin exists. <laughs> so, uh, uh, how, would, how would you rate our experiment so far? R basically making random bets all day, every day while drinking and then paying our bar tab like it's Game of Thrones. So I would rate our experiment uh, uh, as a huge success uh, in us being jackasses and throwing money around in a comically hilarious way. Yes. I will rate it as, if I were him, I wouldn't have fucking taken it. Uh, which was the actual quote from the bartender on Thursday night when he yelled at us for trying to pay our bar tab in one dollar coins. There is there is one really good thing about walking around with a leather sack of coins, which is you can walk up to random people and say, "The girl, she lives." Yes. And then whatever they say, you nod and then throw the payment over to them. 
Like your bra and a cell sword. All right, there you go. All right, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, thank you all for coming out here to Austin, Texas, our South by So Wasted event. These guys. These guys. Uh, let's get it uh, one more time for the Possum Posse Hot and damn. Dual Corm. Hot. I don't know damn. where they went. Uh, Brian. Yes. There is one thing that we do have to follow up on. Oh shit! Is this what I think it is? I do believe I got, that I got, it is. I, I, I can pull this out of my butt. How many people listen to Night Attack or, or listen to Night Attack from last week? Make some noise if you listen from last week. Fewer people than we would like. Thank you. Uh, uh, how many people are also familiar with the fact that we make a lot of promises on the show and then immediately forget them and never pay them off? More people. More people than, than last, last week. week. More uh, people. Well, guess what, motherfucker? I am holding a sheet of paper titled "From Name Bonnie," titled "My Book Report." <laughs> if you are not familiar. Uh, there is an author by the name of Chuck Tingle who writes to somebody in the back, deep Chuck Tingle fan in the back, just <laughs> screaming, yes, yes. And she's like, slammed in the butt by my enthusiasm for Chuck Tingle. <laughs> in my own butt. Uh, so he writes uh, gay erotica that is uh, uh, weird and fantastical and amazing, and what we charged... Brian's wife, Bonnie, to do... Mother of three. Mother of three. Uh, Currently was... not here doing a prestigious art opening yeah. <laughs> in Chicago, but she made time to write a book report on some gay erotica for us. <laughs> <laughs> that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> uh, okay, the book title says here, my book report, name Bonnie, book title... Turned gay by the existential dread that I might may actually be a character in a Chuck Tingle book. <laughs> uh, author Chuck Tingle. Yeah. Uh, main characters Brad, man turned gay, wife <laughs> Carrie. Story setting car, hotel room, uh, heart sign, and hashtag hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> Story summary. All right, here we go. The book starts with an existential case for the plausibility of Chuck Tingle universe of a Chuck Tingle universe. Brad describes how much he enjoys the new release quotes. He is troubled by the by the not so happy ending to the latest Tingler he read. Is that what they're called? Are they called Tingler? No, no, no. He calls all of his books Tinglers. <laughs> okay. Uh, might he be part of the Tingleverse? Question mark. When he tries to relax in the hotel hot tub, he comes face to face with his existential dread and <laughs> finds it's not so bad to get banged in the butt by it. <laughs> so he's in a hot tub and the manifestation of his existential dread shows up. Shows up and puts it right in his butt. The main events, Justin. Brad's existential crisis begins <laughs> as he... All of this is hand-fucking-written, people. Uh, it begins as he, uh, as he comes... Oh, <laughs> she spelled comes C-U-M-S. <laughs> begins as he... Minus 5% should have been a Z. <laughs> ah, comes to grip with the idea that he may be a Tingle Book character... Brad faints at the sight of a handsome team of football players when he meets his existential dread in the hotel's hot tub. He gets banged in the butt until he comes ropes in the bubbling jets. <laughs> Story conclusion, our main character learns from his dread that for every argument that he may be meaningless and small, there's an equal argument that you are unfathomably important. Oh. Right, one fact and one opinion about the story. Fact, we are all part of the Tingleverse. One opinion, it's all so gay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, but, Bonnie. But don't take Bonnie's word for it. Read, Read it, it yourself. yourself. <laughs> uh, Brian, this yeah. is how long we've we been doing uh, South by shows. Uh, yes. No, uh, a long time, Justin. Uh, eight, eight years, seven years? Uh, uh, let, me, let me just say that this is, uh, I think, maybe the biggest crowd that we've ever had. Yes. So uh, yes. Uh, I, I feel a lot of pressure, specifically since 
the boss and posse and dual core just like a they, they owned it. They, they killed it. You know what they did, Justin? They did what? a little thing I like to call have actual talent. Yes. Another thing I like to call practice ah. before 10 minutes before the gig. Gotcha. And uh, that's something we don't have. Right, moving on. <laughs> But I think that there is a possibility that maybe we could cover over our ample foibles. Yes. By bringing up some help. Yes. And having them be a part of carrying the load. Why, why for am our I talent. the yes man now? Yes. 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 <laughs> uh, go on. What do you say we bring up one of our best friends in the world? Ladies and gentlemen, you know him from the Daily Tech News Show from Sword and Laser. His name is Tom, Tom Mary. Hello. <laughs> hey, Tom, this last like 20 seconds, was this the thing that you thought would happen in your life when you were a kid? Yes. Like, <laughs> And, and I used to write book reports about it. Yeah. <laughs> that and the fact that I may be a figment of, a, of, a, of an ex existential gay <laughs> yes. angst. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know to call it the Tingleverse then. <laughs> uh, you know, there was this thing. Uh, we, we have not prepared a lot for this show, but we got into a conversation a little bit earlier today when we were uh, eating breakfast yes. together. Yes. Where, like, it became... Yeah, <laughs> yes. It, it kind of became like a... A, a, a bit of a pissing contest between the three of us. Look, I don't want to encourage the entire audience. It was to a breakfast, one so not a literal. Acting as the yes man, responding yeah. yes to all of your comments. But, 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 but you're saying if I told this story with large pregnant pauses, maybe people would fill things in? <laughs> so we went down to Trudy's for breakfast. <laughs> and we got into this conversation. Tom and Brian and I each said that we had a very special skill. <laughs> we were very competitive about who could just by looking and asking a few cursory questions could pick the middle name of a random audience member totally out of thin air. These are questions. <laughs> and we decided to have a contest, and anyone who couldn't correctly guess, in other words, uh, the person who was, uh, fuck it, uh, the bit is... Yes! <laughs> the bit is, somebody walk up here, all three of us are going to guess your middle name, whoever's closest does not have to take a punishment, yeah. everybody else has to take a punishment. Let's also, go. Uh, uh, by the way, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let, let, let's set up these stakes. Brian just said a punishment. How many of you <laughs> were at our show two years ago? <laughs> Who remembers not only me getting hairs plucked out of my back, but Brian getting a gigantic bukkake of sriracha? <laughs> we have brought back those challenges. You're killing me. You're killing me. And whoever does not uh, fails in their ability to pick out a middle name from uh, just a few cursory questions and looking into the eyes of somebody in the audience will have to suffer those consequences. All right, all right, all right. All right. Whoever, whoever's first, I, come on up here. Yeah, I, right, I got, was unclear on player. this. Here we go. Grab that microphone. Hello, sir. What's your name? Andrew. Andrew. Mm. Uh, we each get to ask you one question, all right? Okay. We did not discuss what kind of questions could be asked, so my question will be... They're, they're just yes or no. Yes or no questions. Oh, well, oh. I was going to ask him what his middle name was. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> uh, Andrew, does your middle name start with a vowel? No. Hmm. 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 He's walking up very intensely. <laughs> pausing as he realizes he's at the end of his XLR rope. That's all you get. Andrew, what is your favorite color? Yes or no questions only. Yeah, asshole. Is yeah. yellow your favorite color? No. No. <laughs> no. 
Your witness, Tom. <laughs> Hi, Andrew. Hi. Thanks for coming. I just have one question for you. What are you, yes. what are you hoping to have happen by shaking his hand? Yeah. Did you... <laughs> does like, 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 like he get a suddenly no? Well, it's wrong with being polite. Uh, sorry, go ahead, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. Does, does he look like your existential it's, dread? That I he believe you said my, my witness. <laughs> Andrew, did your parents generally name kids after saints? No. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. I think we've gotten all the infor information we need. Uh, Andrew, your name is Andrew Mandrew, last name. No. Mm. Mm. Sec you're getting booed? <laughs> Bye, get I'm ready. Go. How about Andrew David, last name? No. Mmm. Andrew Allen, last name. See, I think Keith's closest because my middle name is Laban, and it starts with an L. <laughs> <laughs> Your middle name is Laban? It's a grandfather's middle name. That's, yeah. what, that's what that's what the the soldiers in uh, Wolfenstein said. They're like, mine Laban. <laughs> It's a family name. Is that, it? Definitely yes. not a saint. <laughs> nope. What, what, did you have a grandfather named Abe? No. Because I would like to Abe just... Laban? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, here we go. None of us got it. It's a good on. last name. Here's to, uh, to Andrew's la middle name. Andrew. Andrew. Good middle name. Laban. 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 All right, all right, all right. Laban. Okay. It's a tribute. So Tom, no, 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 Tom no, 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 is hold exempt. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He makes oh. one more decision. Tom got it closest. But who uh, takes the punishment? Man, Drew. <laughs> I'm rethinking and David, my strategy. <laughs> who did the worst? See, those both sucked so badly, but one of them was much closer alphabetically, so you did the worst. Bingo! Man, Drew! Man, Drew! Man, Drew! Man, Drew! All right. All right. For you those gotta, of you, our audio listeners, you selected me. You got to pick from the penalty Man envelopes. Man, Drew, apparently closer to Laban. <laughs> it's a very popular name. <laughs> Bryce is now uh, fanning out all the challenges <laughs> that we have. I am selecting a challenge. Oh my God. For the record, the last time we did this game, I tweeted my phone number out. <laughs> What's it say? <laughs> Justin Robert Young. Oh, oh my no. God. Oh no. Oh no. I have to shave my arm hair. Yeah. One square inch minimum. No, no, what I love is that it's shave your arm hair in Sharpie, and then a, a later edition, like, oh, yeah, one square inch. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, no, no. They, 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 they had the add that when the lawyers got involved. It's just like, <laughs> one square, I'm now being handed. I need that back. Uh, <laughs> they're not a sponsor. All right, uh, 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 you, oh, you're going to shave it yourself. It's the one you, square you, inch yeah, shave you want to You want to you 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 narrate? Uh, All what, right, what here we like? go. This is, um, I went to college, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, do, do the whole arm. Are we doing do the, the, right. do the whole arm. Doing the whole yeah. arm. Yeah. Holy shit. You're shaving your whole fucking arm. Who wants to eat Justin's DNA? Oh. <laughs> was that to the tune of who put the cookie in the cookie jar? <laughs> who wants to eat just DNA? I want to eat just DNA. <laughs> who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. They do. <laughs> I just dick. realized that. Wait, do you want to eat my no, DNA? We have multiple people out here. <laughs> Somebody was just holding up their hand saying, me, me, me. All right, there we go. I'm now. <laughs> I'm not finishing with the tri blade. <laughs> Do you want to uh, sculpt it, dude? All right, at least let me get a round of applause for my shaved ass arm. 
Uh, I'm immediately regretting bring back these challenges. All right, who's next? Who's next? All right, who's next? Who wants? Here we go. Okay, okay, we have. Uh, we here have we have go. A, we got a we got uh, a microphone for you. What's your here name? We go. Take take that. Uh, uh, what Sir. Is, what is your name? Uh, Jessica. Jessica. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Does your middle name rhyme with Schmarie? Absolutely not. Okay. Mm, That's good is info. Is your info. middle name of French ancestry? Yes! What? <laughs> Are you sure it's not Schmarie? <laughs> Jessica. Yeah. Are you sure you really want me to send you the early beta copy of the sequel to Pilot X? Yes, please! Yes, please! Yes, please! Yes, please! Just Hold asking. on. Reading is essential. Hold on. on. Motherfucking Hollywood Tom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tom, you go first. All right. French. Hmm. French. Jessica Lestat. Oh, that's good, but no. <laughs> Mm. Is your middle name Jessica Maurice? <laughs> Parents were big Steve Miller band fans. Uh, all right, look, I got, I got this. It's Jessica Cornwallis. What? <laughs> what I guess not, that, not so much. I think we have our English. answer. That would actually yeah. be all right. Oh my God. So first, for the first time ever, please reveal on mic what your middle name really is. Anne. <laughs> All right, who is closest? Technically French. Who is closest? Marie Anne Toinette. Oh, I, oh yeah. Thank you. Moving on, moving on, moving on. <laughs> All right, who got it? Who got it the closest? I talked into my beer. I uh, <laughs> Justin, for those of you who missed it, Justin it's actually like held his beer up like a microphone <laughs> and talked right into his microphone. That's not your microphone. Uh, all right, you got to pick a winner. Go ahead. Okay, well, I feel like you got closest because you said <clears throat> it was French, Cornwallis. but also Tom is letting me read his book yeah. before it's been published, so, so I have to go with So that means the person who... Tom, yeah. All right, I'll start Tom. sending it right okay. Tom again. Uh-huh. Tom again gets uh, the closest, which who means again... the punishment? It's on its way. Ryan and I, is it Maurice? You can do something <laughs> horrible to me on Scam School. It's fine. Why? So who, who? Who who, who, who to, is the you, furthest? Who is the worst? You the gotta worst? Pick. Um, well, I have to say you again. Oh! <laughs> Justin Robert Young! Justin Robert Young! All right, he has to pick from the envelopes of shame. <laughs> wow, he's T-bowing over this. It's <laughs> 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 Justin taking a knee. <sighs> go ahead, go ahead. Fuck you. Fuck don't, be a, don't, 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 don't be a spoil sport. It's fine. What's it say? Here we go. Here we go. Another guest has to make a tweet from my account, and I have no, to leave no. it up for four hours. Can I yeah. pick? Do I get to pick? Can I pick? Can I pick? Can I pick, can I pick the person? Yeah, you can pick. I can pick the person? Yeah. I can be the person. Why? Yeah. <laughs> All right, fine. Pick somebody. Yay! Okay, um, I picked Trey Warren. Trey! Okay, no. He's saying no. Trey, He's Trey, saying Trey, no. Trey, 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 Trey. All right, Trey, Trey's going to do that. Yes. Meanwhile, let's get, our next, let's get our next guest lined up. Who wants to? Who wants to? Over by the merch table. Go get it. Oh, by the merch table. Shay! <laughs> All right, we, 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 had, we had somebody oh, run yeah, out here. We got here. somebody else. Hi there, what's your name? Ma'am, what's your name? My name is Karina. Karina? Karina. Karina. Where are you from? Karina. 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 Karina with a K or a C? K. K. Karina with a K. All right, Karina. Karina. Uh, Karina. Where, where are you from, Karina? Here, actually. Uh, you live at the bar. That's. <laughs> she lives in Karina. the Kung Fu Saloon. Known as Karina Budweiser. Kung Fu Karina. Karina Kung Fu. Uh, Karina. That's what the K stands for. Yep. <laughs> all, right, all right, Karina, I have yes. a yes or no question. All right. Is your middle name familial? No. <laughs> no? So there's nobody in your family that has that name? Actually, wait, no. I'm named oh, after my oh. grandmother. Wait, what? I'm named after my grandmother. 
You're named for your grandmother. Named after your grandmother. Oh, uh, that's a yes. Was your grandmother named Marie? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. That's it. Uh, Karina. 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 Is your middle name uh, two normal single names mashed together? No. I mm. have a guess. All right, Brian. Go your ahead. Your name is Karina Gertrude. Last name. No. Oh. Uh, I, I missed it. I missed it. Uh, Karina, I'm really behind the eight ball on this one. I'm just going to let you know. Forty, God knows what hate speech Trey is entering into my Twitter account right now. I stand with one shaved arm before you. I believe your middle name is Christine. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. Krina, you're I'm I'm picking up a message from your grandmother. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh my <laughs> god! Oh, supernatural. oh my god! Everybody! <laughs> feel, everybody, 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 give 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 us a low hum to channel <laughs> the spirit. I'm feeling a message from her. She says, she says, say Krina Elizabeth. No, and my grandmother's still alive. Man, so. that's why I was. <laughs> man, your grandmother was messing with me on two levels. Gave me the wrong name, and she's not dead. <laughs> so, <laughs> can we, uh, uh, should we call your grandmother to get her name? Or yeah, just, no, you want to tell it. She just loves humming. Duh. <laughs> like. No, my middle name is Lou. 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 <laughs> yeah. So who is closest? Uh, Gertrude. <laughs> Pretty close. Christine. <laughs> Not close. Or the only one with an L in it, Elizabeth. <laughs> I, I'm actually going to go with him. The oh, God, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who is, who is farther off? Okay. Oh, my God. I know, do I know the answer. Don't do this. <laughs> I've been broken up with enough times to know where this is going. <laughs> Thank you, Tay. Tay Allen, ladies Tay and Allen. gentlemen. Yeah. Tacos, tacos from Tay. That's amazing. That's amazing. Honestly, honestly. <laughs> She's like a sponsored version of the Kissing Bandit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you, it's me. Yeah. And I'm going to go with you. Shh. Oh! <laughs> it's not Gertrude. All right, I'm going to reach forward. Not Gertrude. I'm going to, I'm going to. All right, hold on, wait, wait. Did, did Trey already tweet out what was on my, on my thing? Can Trey come up here? Everybody give a round of applause for Trey Warren. Trey Warren, everybody. The maker of the steak nugget. Uh, Trey, if, if, if you go, I'll, I'll just do it. Uh, if, if you go to at Justin R. Young on Twitter, what will people believe that I just said? I'm a hugger. You're old Bailey Mark. Hey, there we go. Not nearly as bad. Thank you, Trey. Thank I you, owe you Trey. a beer. Hey, guess what? Meanwhile, I have to take the cinnamon challenge. Oh. Made it, made it 43 years Wait a before minute. this moment. Wait a minute. We're going to pause it right now. What? Oh. Uh -oh. Because in the parlance of the bad boys, shit just got real. Brian, for those of you who are uh, unaware, of course, also runs not one but two very successful YouTube channels, Scam School and The Modern Rogue. You have, you have I've, very I've avoided, intentionally, yeah, avoided. very, very, very intentionally, despite knowing that it is views gold, he has avoided these challenges, these dumb little franchisee videos. You have not done the cinnamon challenge. You have not done the ice bucket challenge. You have not done the call your mom and ask why your middle name's Lou challenge. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? Okay, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll do it over uh, there, but meanwhile, uh, what the fuck is this shovel? You're handing me a goddamn spade to shovel cinnamon in my face. All right. Uh, what, what is the cinnamon challenge? It's when you take a spoonful of cinnamon and swallow it dry. So Brian is now uh, uh, doing it. We have a drink available for him right when he... And you don't have to 
We have somebody. Somebody get a beer ready for Brian. We got. We got. Oh, we, we, got we already got one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Brian, you are about to shovel this cinnamon right in your mouth. What is going through your mind? The loss of my integrity. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Oh, it's. He's, he's swallowing. He has a, a, a serene contemplation. Oh, has he has he done it? Has he tamed the cinnamon challenge? I am a way for doing the cinnamon challenge. He is now breathing cinnamon in a comical fashion. It might have just come out of his nose. The secret. He's playing it very slow. He's playing it smart and the slow. The secret is to go very slow. I his love... mic now smells like Thanksgiving. I love... By the way, his mustache, his mustache is, is, now, is cinnamon toasted. It's now cinnamon coated. I think all those YouTubers are pussies. Oh! There we go. Brian is taking it down. Big round of applause for the Cinnamon Man. <laughs> he now he swallowed a beer and now he has an unholy lump of weird beer cinnamon in his mouth. I'm gonna insist on swallowing everything. That was wrong. That was wrong. Should have said that. Tell tell your existential dread that you might be in a Chuck Tingle now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I did the cinnamon challenge. You, oh my God, you did! You did it! Brian! 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 Woo! All right, I think we got time for one more. We gotta right, do one, one more. One more. One more. Who, All up? right, we got. We got. Uh, oh, here we go. Beep, beep, no, Shane, beep, come beep, on beep, 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 Oh, hey Shane. Hi Shane. Ahoy! Hello. Uh, Shane, what's your name? I'm Shane. <laughs> Full name, what's please. Up? Holy shit! <laughs> Hi Shane. Hi. Uh, Shane. We will start with Tom. Tom, you go ahead and ask Shane a question. All right. Uh, Shane? Yes? Is your middle name rhyme with Shane? It does not. <laughs> Somebody was Somebody. really blown away by that. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> very got people shot. living and dying on this bit in the back. Not rhyme with Shane. In the, in the back, I'd like to imagine a bunch of people like holding chickens and exchanging yuan, and we're like, Arr! yeah, right. Go ahead. What? What is that? Mean? I because he painted a very evocative picture of like a Bangkok cockfight. Yes, thank you. That's yes. what I was going for. I got it. Oh, all, right. All, right. all right, all right, you were there. Shane <laughs> is your middle name. Begin with a letter before F. Yes. Ooh. Shane? Degree in journalism. Uh. <laughs> Shane, is Such your middle important. name Blaine? Are you Shane Blaine? He just asked if it rhymed, Brian, and I said no. Right. Do you want to go ahead? Remember your question. <laughs> I'm sorry, your middle name is Judgment. <laughs> You're very close. <laughs> All right, here we go, Tom. You go ahead. All right, Shane. Yes. Is your middle name Charles? No, Charles is over there. Ah, oh, busted. Inside well, dude, joke. my middle name's Andrew, and Andrew's over there too. That's fair. I mean, All right, fair point. Sorry, sorry. No judgment. It can happen. No, it's not. I got, Charles. I, I got this. Yeah, I got this, this is this is I not a zero sum name economy, Shane. Like, uh, Shane is your middle name. Doug! No. It's Brendan. <laughs> Your name's Brendan. No. Oh, who's no. closest? Gee, I mean, okay, so it's Alexander. Alphabetically, so, I, mean, I think I know I who's closest. With the B uh, word, sure. The B word. So, <laughs> oh. Brendan yeah. is the new B yeah, word. Yeah, well, but Charles <laughs> is, is Greek for Alexander. Wait, what was your guess? <laughs> you said Douglas. Doug. Yeah. Oh, mm. I mean, I, you, Brian's closest. Yeah! All right, so Brian is now safe. Now it's down to both Tom and I. I have had to give up my Twitter account and shave my arm in front of everybody. Tom has gotten away scot-free this entire bit. I am open to bribes. To, to, to spread around. What are you drinking, Shane? <laughs> How dare you try to bribe me, Tom? It's you. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh my God! 
The fix was in the whole Shane, time. Shane, oh, Shane, 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 Shane. Yes, right. Shane. Tom is about Shame. to get the envelopes. Oh, right. Shame. Here we go, Tom. You go ahead and open that up. All Respected right. journalist Tom Merritt, of course, of the Daily Tech News Show, a author of a tremendous value. He is opening it up. He is going in to the challenge, and he is now going to read for the first time what he will have to do right now on this stage. Write a haiku about another guest in 30 seconds and then recite. And the note on it is that a haiku is a 575 five five. poem. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever right, so, wrote that is the real MVP. All right, all right you got 30 seconds, Tom. Uh, meanwhile, Justin, we're about to wrap this up. We're yeah. about to bring back on uh, not only Dual Core, but also more of the Possum Posse. Yep. Uh, uh, is there any other business? We, we, we had a bunch of bits that we were thinking about bringing up. But I don't. Did we? <laughs> I think we did them all. I, th I, th I think I we think did them all. We actually wrote a plan yeah. and then did it. We did. That's weird. I'll tell you what. We don't usually do that. How about just me and you? Yeah. One last rock, paper, scissors for one of those remaining challenges. Yeah, you know what? Here, I'll just take it. I'll, I'll take no, it. No, 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 no. Okay, fine. No, no, no. Here we All go. Right. Do right. you guys want to see a rock, paper, scissors for one final challenge? Yeah. Say yeah. <laughs> Cheap pop. Cheap pop. Is it best uh, to All right. Tom, have you written your haiku? I have. Then uh, as soon as Tom reads his haiku, All right. we will do one, our rock, two, paper, three, scissors. Go. One, two, three, shoot. Yeah. One and done. One, All two, right. three, go. Yeah. All right. Some snaps, please. Shane, he picked me, man. <laughs> I won't be buying him beer. <laughs> wow, got off easy. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tom, Tom Merritt, beat poet extraordinaire. Tom, what are the books people can buy of yours? Uh, Pilot X is available in all fine bookstores, and Pavaria is just out as an audio book. And of course, Daily Tech News Show, wherever you find fine podcasts. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. Ready? Yep. One, two, three, go. Oh! I have defeated Brian. Scissors cut paper. One final challenge. Can we get a drum roll, please, from the audience? This is I, it. I like it the all snaps. comes down to this. Good. It says here, no punishment. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it says handstand for 30 seconds. Don't fall on nobody. <laughs> it doesn't say, can you do a handstand for 30 seconds? Oh my God, Brian is confidently, confidently throwing things out of his pocket. Brian is moving his ostentatious sack of gold coins. I'm gonna get my beer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30! Let's get a big round of applause for Brian Brushwood! Keep it going for Tom Merritt! All right, let's bring out the real stars of the show. Uh, uh, dual core first, right? Yep. Where's dual core? As it comes bounding to the oh, stage. Oh, oh wait, the by the way, by the way, uh, there is one bit of uh, news for everybody that is here live. We had a scavenger hunt run by the Ritual Misery guys, and the winner of that scavenger hunt, which gets a $200 bar tab, is... Shane! Shane! Hey, also. Here we go. Beers on Shane. Beers on Shane. 
Beers on chain. Beers on chain. All right, we got what? We got one more announcement because What's we that? have a fan of the show that's put together something very special. We have an award presentation, a one of a kind figurine to be presented. Where's our special guest? Special guest Travis, get on up here. Uh, uh, say, yeah, hand off the Periscope feed to somebody else. <laughs> uh, Travis has been. Travis has been hitting me up with all the secret behind the scenes details on this figurine. What's the backstory here? All right, so first of all, uh, if y'all are not friends with me, y'all are missing out on Christmas. Every Christmas, I love to give out ridiculous gifts, gifts and quotes for everybody. So uh, I've between like refrigerator boxes with tiny little gifts in them, AOL CDs, uh, checks. With AOL CDs? <laughs> uh, giant novelty checks, you name it, I've done ridiculous shit. I just realized that cinnamon is sticking to my newly shaven arm. Nice. That's a fun thing that's that happened to me poetry. today. Uh, so anyways, uh, there's one particular person who's definitely been on the receiving end of this a few years, uh, for a couple years now, and uh, that's one, our good friend over here, Mr. Bryce Castillo. Bryce, Bryce Castillo! Castillo! So wait a minute, are you telling me, Travis, that... You have a special gift for Bryce Neshkov. <laughs> the uh, dawning yeah. horror on Bryce's face. So, Bryce, you think you've already got your Christmas gift this year. <laughs> that was not your Christmas gift. A safe assumption considering it's fucking March. <laughs> <laughs> we do things a little late. <laughs> So Wait a minute. He's Hold on. In the backpack. Hold on. For the record, Bryce Neshkov we have Castillo. A, mayo, a little pocket he brought thing of mayo. Mayonnaise. We have a little bit of mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, it's just, a, just in fine. case. As one does. It happens. Bryce. Okay. okay. Merry oh. late Christmas. All right. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, everybody, Merry a big late. round of applause for Travis. Yeah. All right, so, all right, all right, Bryce. so I got Please thing. open it up. Walk open us through right this. Now. All right, so it's uh, got a very glittery lid. It's totally my style. Uh, we got some uh, bubble wrap, very fun. Oh my gosh, it looks like a Funko Pop. Oh my gosh, it's a Funko Pop of me. He <laughs> 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 made a Funko Pop of me. And that's, that's my dad. You're dressed just like it, you motherfucker. <laughs> Surprise. Oh That's my so gosh! Good. I it's... know you've mentioned in the past how much you love Funko. <laughs> <laughs> I have a complicated relationship with them. Yes. So, sir, but, I figured at this point this. But is, this, this is, is a is good one. Good. This is this is the good Funko Pop. So if you're gonna go, go for Bryce. <laughs> go for the uh, Funko now, Pop. Now there is one little add-on to that because okay. is there a Travis, nickel on here somewhere? Travis told us about this two nights ago, and as much as uh, he's playing coy. He fucking hates Funkos. Uh, <laughs> which is why it's hilarious that he got one. Yeah. But as soon as Brian and I found out that you were getting a Funko Pop, we're like, I mean, you just having it is one level of weirdness. Oh, no. Us selling another copy <laughs> would be another one. Um, so okay. we are in the process. We are going to have another exact duplicate commissioned and sell for charity yeah. the only Bryce wow. Funko Pop in the Publicly next few available. weeks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Publicly yeah. available. All right, so get ready for that. Wow. Uh, also, you, also, uh, real, real quick, uh, uh, we we uh, 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 we need money for the possum posse. So we're gonna be rolling around collecting twenty dollar bills from all you guys. Yeah. We're gonna bother you to to make sure they get paid because it's gonna be amazing. Also, coming up next, we got Dual Core. Where's Dual Core? Yeah. Dual Core's right over there. Uh, hey, listen. We say this shit every single year, and every year we mean it just that much more. This event renews us. <laughs> it, it, it is uh, an amazing experience to see all of your shining faces. This is the biggest crowd we have ever had yeah. for South by So Wasted, so make some noise for yourself. Oh. Woo! <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and give it up for Dual Core! Yeah. So, uh, my name is It80. I'm the rapper in a group called Dual Core. Uh, it's me and a guy that lives in the UK. The guy that lives in the UK is C64. 
He has, uh, he, he makes all the beats, he does all the mixes, he does all the artwork, he has all the talent, I just have the mustache. So, uh, for a living I hack computers and then I make rap music about it. So this song is called The Ten Hack Commandments. It's about how to hack computers and not go to prison. It's the Ten Hack Commandments, what? Can't tell me nothing about this crypto. These exploits, these forensics. Hackers on the grind, I ain't forget you. All my port scanners, all my SQL injectors, all my exploit devs. We out here getting shells, writing malware. Shouts out to Meat Pistol. I've been in this game for years. It made me an animal, there's rules to these bits. Man paid for the manual, a step by step. Vote click for you to get. Your back door's patch, not your house ransacked. Rule number uno, never let no one know how much code you hold, cause you know. The zero day, heat will spray, clear the way. If their log file touch, get your hard line cut. Number two, never let them know your next move. Don't you know bad boys move in silence and pirate taken from your wireless. I don't flash mad chips with these hacks just to patch these bits. Number three, never trust nobody. IRC is bad luck when you chat too much. Logged and tapped up. Feds got mass plugs. They'll be waiting with the warrant to snatch your stash up. Number four, no, you heard this before. Shut the fuck up. Number five, never do no hacks where you rest at. I don't care if you own a house, use a bounce. Number six, any log, clear text, forget it. Encrypt all your data, take those bites off the record. Seven, this rule is so underrated. Keep identities and profiles completely separated. Cookies and lies don't mix like two bits in one stitch. Find yourself Guantanamo quick. Number eight, never keep no weight on you. Those cats that run your hacks can jack coins too. Number nine should have been number one to me. Use your right to your attorney. Keep away from police. If people think you're talking, they will give an option. We'll be hopping on your box and ready to start doxing. Number 10, shut the actual fuck up. Yo, the easiest of rules, but it still bears repeating because you want the recognition for your revenue increasing. Discard accounts, randomized handles, law enforcement loves attacks on side channels, burn your identities, credit card canceled, avoid being the topic of a South By panel. Don't bet your future on just a few tools. Even onion sites can have leaks too. Be smart about your OPSEC, think things through. They found DPR, they'll come find you, it's true. Hack King, use Signal, use Tor, use Common Sense. Dual Core, Hack the Planet. Everybody, when I say Hack the Planet, y'all say Hack the Planet. Hack the Planet. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Dual Core! Brian, that was great. Now you might wonder, who are these musicians? How did they get here? What are they going to do for us? Yeah. Well, allow me to clarify this situation as I ask you to make some noise for the immortal Possum! He's like, hey, what's this in the weeds? It's a baby, a human oh, baby. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 
He put it in his saddle, hopped on, and huffed it up a hill and across the plain. He tried to cross the river, but he fell in because buffaloes are yeah. top heavy. Everybody knows. Wikipedia, yeah. I'm learning. But he kept that baby afloat. Good job. Down a buffalo, you gotta find your friend. She's bearing down a buffalo. He's like, hey, you want this baby? She says it's cheaper than adoption. Gown a buffalo, you welcome, lady. But it's high time I move along on my buffalo. See you later. I got to go. I'm just thinking I'm on the buffalo. One day the guy on the buffalo got a letter in the mail saying that the non-disclosure that his buffalo had tried to get signed by that porn star he had sex with was being declined. And he was like, I did not know that you had access to a lawyer. You're just a buffalo. And he's like, well, I had sex with a porn star. I didn't want him to get out. And maybe she's going to talk to somebody. Guy on a buffalo. He just paid the fees and tried to move along with his life. The guy on a buffalo learned that it got leaked to the press. He was just straight up screwed. Oh, no. If you have sex with a porn star, just enjoy it and move on and let everyone know because you can't Having sex with a porn star guy on a buffalo. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Brian and Justin, for having us out. I don't know what the program's like, but uh, you guys, are we, are you guys around? Are we taking this out? Are we taking it out? We're taking we out. it out. What do we need to say, Bryce? Hi, bye, it's all here. Thank you, America. Say Brian, you do want. you want to get in on this, Brushwood? Let's give one more round of applause for these insanely talented motherfuckers. South by So Wasted 2018. You guys are the best people in our lives. We love you with all our hearts. Absolutely. I don't know where we're feeding it. Fuck you, America. Bye. Woo. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>